Hey there, fans of AI and AI art and all kinds of things technology related, uh, in particular chat GPT. So for tonight's session, I just want to share what I did this morning is I went over to X and there's, a, like I said, there's a, I may have said that there is a large AI art community there. And what they love to do is they love to share their prompts. So one of the, those people shared a prompt about uh, creating, using the letters of the word eat, um, create it with vegetables. That was his prompt. So I copied that, just that, and I went over to ChatGPT, which let me share my, share my screen. This is why I love using ChatGPT. Let me share you what, with what I did. So share and... Let me click on chat GPT. So all I did was I said, now I do need to clarify one thing. <clears throat> in order for you to use this functionality in chat GPT, you do need to be a plus subscriber and that's $20 a month. But what you get for that $20 a month, I think it is so worth it. So you can't do this on the free version. You'll need to upgrade. And uh, you could pay, you get a discount if you pay for the whole year. I still just do $20 a month. So I said, okay, image, the word eat made of fruits and vegetables. And then so ChatGPT created this image. And as you can see, it says eat, and it's got fruits and vegetables in each of the letters. So then I said, that's very clever. And then ChatGPT said, thank you. And then I said, so I wonder what other words could be created with images of their components? which I put in quotes. And ChatGPT said, creating words from images of their components is a fun and creative exercise. Here are some ideas. And it gave me, it just spit out 10 different ideas. So for example, sleep, the word sleep uh, made from images of pillows, blankets, and a crescent moon. Uh, music formed with musical notes, instruments like a guitar. So it just gave me 10 instant suggestions. So. For tonight, let's just take a couple of these so I can show you then how's this, how this works. So I will go and say uh, image. This is, this is how you do it with the premium. You just say image, the word sleep made from images of pillows. I could have just copied it actually, but all right. Blankets and a crescent moon. And what it does is it calls up Dolly all by itself and it gives it the right prompt to create this. So there's my command. And uh, momentarily, now you can see it says it's creating the image. Um, and this little purplish symbol here means that it's actually talking to Dolly, which is OpenAI's art generator. It'll create the image for me. We'll see if I like it. Guess what? I don't like it. You know why? Because it doesn't actually say the word sleep. So then I come back to it and I say, well, um, that's not the word sleep. Please create, please create another image with all the letters of the word. And this time I'm going to put it in quotes and see if that helps. Yeah, sleep. And let's see if it, we can get it to do a better job. And you know, it doesn't always work that, that uh, great, but let's see what we can do. This is what I'm wanting to share is that you can have a conversation with it. And I will do some further videos on how I conversations on completely different topics. Had it write me an article based on the our discussion. And then I had it I have it create an image based on our discussion. And again, if it's not the right image, I have it, I just keep going back and forth and back and forth until I get the image that I want. So let's see how well it does this time. Creating image. We'll give it a little bit of time here. Uh, 
it still doesn't have it quite right. So I may, I'm going to play with this, this one a little bit more. I'm going to just say, no, um, no, whoops, no, not quite right yet. Um, how do I write prompt? So you create the entire word sleep. Mm. How about creating a horizontal landscape image with the word sleep? And maybe it's running out of room and that's why it's not doing it. So let's see what it does. Okay, now it's gonna tell me how to do that. Here's a refined prompt. So it's actually telling me how to do it. So the answer is create a horizontal landscape image of the word sleep, where each letter is distinctly formed from images associated with sleep. The S is made from a series of fluffy pillows, the F, L from a folded cozy blanket, the E's from crescent moons, Ah, I need another E. And the P from a plush soft blanket. Arrange these elements so that they align horizontally to clearly spell out sleep against a tranquil nighttime background. So let's copy exactly what it said. And let's see if we can get it to create exactly what I want. I still think, oh, it says the E's. All right. Let me just paste that in there and see if it works. But in this case, well, if it works, it's because I asked it how to tell it to create what I want. But I want you to think about this, not, terms of, not just in terms of what the example I'm showing you here, but when you're trying to get it to do something for you, if you get stuck, just say, well, what am I, what am I, what's the prompt I need to give you? Oh, look at that. Except now, <laughs> now it gave me three letter E's, but we're getting closer. So uh, that's in fact, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, this is way better. However, <laughs> now you created three E's instead of two E's. Try again, try the same prompt again, only include two E's for the word, put it in quotes, S L E E P. Oops. Uh, now I put in three words. But you can see kind of where it's going. So hopefully this one will work. Otherwise, I don't know if I want to stay on this particular one. I might try a shorter one just to see what happens. And we'll give it a try here one more time. Otherwise, I have, uh, I just suddenly had an idea. <clears throat> you know that I like cats. I may create one with cats. So, ah, look at that. Ta-da. <laughs> we have the word sleep made with components that you would think of for sleeping. So it's got the nighttime background with some stars. It's got pillows. It's got a crescent moon for the letter L. If I click on it, you get the bigger picture. Now I can download it. Um, let me exit just that picture and download it so that I can share it um, in the group when I post this video. Um, so it did, it downloaded it. And that's what I'm going to share with you this evening. Uh, just for a quick review, um, it gave me 10 different ideas, sleep, music, read using books, cook, Travel, composed of suitcases, a globe, and airplanes. Write with pens and pencils and a typewriter or keyboard. 
display made with various toys, a joystick and sports equipment, a garden created with flowers, gardening tools, and a watering can, dance using silhouettes of dancers, ballet shoes, and musical notes, and smile formed from emojis, a camera, and sun rays. So um, just as a reminder, we're only just getting started. I'm starting to, this is the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. I have so much to share with you. Uh, I hope you find this interesting. Please look in the in the group for the post. It's one of the featured posts called um, Question Box. Feel free to post any question you want there, and um, I may find a way to include it in my videos. In the meantime, have a fabulous day tomorrow, um, and I will create another video either tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. Be well and... Enjoy your creating.